Cody, what's in your hand? Training fluid and a filter. Oh, I don't. Okay, bye. Oh, God. Good morning, people. Are, uh, it's 11 26. Good afternoon. It's my hey. morning because I wake up, I stay up really late editing. Yeah. That's really loud. Uh, today, what we're doing uh, is Cody and I are working on both of our forcers. We have forcers now, if you guys didn't know that. We both. We both have foresters. We're in Cody's right now. You can tell the difference because his has this knob thingy here. Uh, we, that was weird. We just, I'm just gonna, nope. Oh, okay. God. We're gonna do a few things on each, each other's foresters today. Uh, he's gonna show me his, I'm gonna show him mine. We're gonna check out the transmission fluid on my forester uh, and maybe put in these headlights from Circuit Demon, which we're super stoked on. We've had for a while. You guys have been asking us where the heck are those headlights when you're putting them in. Where the heck? Maybe today. Uh, the heck and then we're also gonna change a uh, pitch stop, pitch, pitch stop fork. Now. We're gonna put a pitch oh, fork. We're gonna put a pitch fork in Cody's engine. Yeah. It's actually snowing. We're we'll working on doing a few cool things to each car today. And also throw in our custom Circuit Demon headlights that have been sitting in my basement since about February. We just haven't really got around to installing them. But we're gonna do that today. Uh, and then also put a pitch stop, a pitch fork in Cody's engine. Something like that. I don't know, cars. Hey man, I don't know why you're outside. It's snow hailing. Doesn't really make much sense for you to be out there. Cody, I uh, got you. Some, oh, where are you going? Turn my over the place on. Look, he's got RW Orlando over there, pictures he took yeah. on either side. Right next to these amazing Circuit Demon headlights that have donuts in them! And my logo. How cool is that? That's so cool, these are sick. But first, first thing we need to do uh, is change out the transmission fluid on this old boy, or girl, or whatever it self-identifies as. Um, that's the first first thing to do today. Look, Cody got winter wheels though. Yeah. He got Anki's for winter wheels, he just picked those up for his Forester. And he was thinking about he was thinking about these, buying these, but not in love with them, so they're actually gonna go back to their owner today, they're gonna take them. Everyone's kind of wondering where the Legacy is and how come we haven't worked on the Legacy in a while. Though we've had some issues with the Legacy, we have some issues with the Turbo and some like crazy power draw coming from somewhere, killing it all the time. True, but um, so we just, <laughs> we're basically just leaving it off to the side where it's gonna get built this winter like we keep saying. Uh, so we're gonna do that very shortly, probably at the end of this month we'll drop it off the shop and do a lot of vlogs documenting that entire build, but for now, Change out the transmission fluid on the Forester, get the cool headlights in, and uh, put the pitchfork in Cody's engine or something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, we're doing cool stuff in my car for a change. <laughs> so if you guys are ever wondering the proper way to check out the engine bay, it was definitely like that. And also, if you're ever wondering for proper mounts, um, zip ties. Zip ties do do the job. This has about a lot of miles on it. That's metric. It has a torque binding issue where when he makes really tight turns, it binds up and it doesn't want to go. Um, a lot of people say it's a solenoid inside, but the good friends on the forum said change the fluid and it should go away hopefully. So we're gonna give it some new tranny fluid and refresh it, and yeah. And hopefully, hopefully that does the trick because we really don't want to have to take out the transmission and change, well, Cody doesn't want to have to change. Out, it's getting replaced. <laughs> Cody doesn't want to have to take that out and change out the solenoid within there. So we're gonna try to see if the simpler fix fixes the broader issue. And if it does, that's awesome. And then we'll move on to the headlights in Cody's car. But if it doesn't, we're just gonna cry and move on to the headlights in Cody's car. Step one: take stuff out. This is the most exciting part. So I'm just gonna let Cody do his thing, and then we'll check back in with him in a, in a second. <laughs> oh, and yeah, clearly, obviously, we went stopped and got our sponsor. Thank you guys so much once again for sponsoring us uh, and being so kind to the channel and you know keeping us up and running uh, with our amazing coffee that we love so um I'm still mind fucked how we got that. We're not sponsored. We're not we're not sponsored. We can see the little baby turbo here in our XT. Uh yeah. she's cute. Cody was kind enough to install a waiting room seat uh, in his garage as well. So it's I can a shop Chris I'm sorry in your this looks like a garage. But in your shop I'm sorry in your help friends succeed. I'm helping you succeed by watching you. Ooh, look at all the gasoline coming out of the car. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Is that like a uh, Kool-Aid? Uh, blood of a hooker. Oh. It sounds like one. <laughs> and back to normal. Good, good job, Cody. You did a good fluid hooker or whatever you said you did. Cody stole my Forester. He's gonna go see if that fixed the problem. If not, we'll figure it out at some point. We'll put in the clutch transfer clutch, case, solenoid, whatever it is, at some point. Uh, but we want to put priority towards the legacy, so just making sure it runs 
basically have priority right now. But in front of me right now are the Circuit Demon headlights you guys have been asking for so long. Where are they? How come you haven't put them in the Forest yet? Blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. We've just been super busy. Uh, we haven't really gotten around to it. We weren't sure if we were keeping the Forester or not, and then we decided to keep it. Uh, so we are now going to put in these Circuit Demon headlights. Let me grab them for you really quick. Wow, I just said that all really fast. I am so sorry for how fast I talk. Um, but can we just take a quick second to appreciate these? These were gifted to me by Circuit Demon. Look at that. Look how cool it is. So much better than... What is this? What is... What that? Something just fell in there. But it's so much cooler than those headlights. Look at these. Oh, so sick. Custom donut. My logo's in there. So cool. And they're clean and not all crappy and cruddy like the other one. So back in February, Circuit Demon gifted me these headlights at the H2OI premiere we did in New York City. <laughs> have been asking us where the heck have we how can we put these in the forester yet the forest has horrible headlights how can we haven't put them in there yet well like i said we just haven't really had the time yet these are so cool so we're gonna put these in the forester today these are from circuit demon they're up in rochester new york they make crazy cool custom headlights they made the headlights in the legacy and these as well um they make some really cool custom stuff for really any car or vehicle you have out there they've done truck stuff they just got into tail lights too so if you're looking to get custom headlights or any really custom lights for your car made, make sure you guys hit up Circuit Demon. We'll put their Instagram here on the screen and their link down in the description below. They're gonna be doing some really cool stuff for the Legacy for next year as well. And they also did some really cool stuff for Cody's Accord in the past. But since he now has the Subaru platform, he's not gonna be using those Accord headlights. And Cody, what do you have to say? Circuit Demon already made an awesome set for the Accord and unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to use them, so they are for sale. If you're interested in them, shoot me a message or Circuit Demon a message, let them know. And then once they sell, then this gets a set. They fit from 98 to 2002, four door or two door, so. They look really cool. We'll put a picture of up of them on the screen here. You guys can see what they look like. That also gives you an idea of what else Circuit Demon does other than this design right here. Uh, like the etching, you know, the custom painting, the housing is all brand new. Uh, and they made something like that just for Cody, but a little bit cooler even. Uh, so if you guys have an Accord and you want to get those, DM Cody or DM Circuit Demon. We'll put their Instagrams here on the screen. But big, huge, huge shout out to Circuit Demon. We're going to install these puppies uh, so that way the Forester can not only look better, but we yeah. can see better as well. Because uh, these are going to have not crappy bulbs in them either. Oh, and also when they gifted them to us, they gifted them to us in rainbow unicorn wrapping paper. Uh, so thanks, thanks for that, Jeff. Those pop out a lot easier than the legacy ones. Ooh, squeeze that ugly boy out. Rest in peace, that clip. Uh, for sale, never been used, <laughs> brand new, off headlights, uh, 04 Forester XT, definitely not broken, uh, hit me up. The biggest difference between going with this route of a kit as opposed to the eBay cheap stuff, this gets controlled. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Gets input from one headlight side. Is that USB-C? Uh, 3.7. Has a power on ground, so this is literally taking direct battery power and just being triggered, triggered from a headlight switch, whereas the cheap kits that you get on eBay and Amazon for $40, all they do is take power from the headlight and that's it. So if you kind of have a very over-end kind of headlight HID setup, they might be dim. This is taking direct battery kind of, direct battery power. That mm. So this is just a, a nicer way. You'll get the true output of the beams and it's true 12 volt, whereas you could have crappy connections and be like 10, 11, be kind of dim, dim boys. Don't be dim, dim boys. Be bright, bright boys. What a dim sum, boys. Dim sum. How come this doesn't say uh, 404? Cancel it. We didn't really explain it before. Uh, we kind of just moved on to the headlights. What? We kind of just moved on to the headlights. Uh, the other issue with the with the uh, our, uh, transmission didn't really fix what we wanted to fix. So we're gonna deal with that another time. But we're gonna make the car look better. I had high expectations. Though. We're gonna we're gonna make the car look better, make ourselves feel better, and change out to these uh, Circuit Demon headlights. I'm still depressed. So we'll we'll figure that out later. But Circuit Demon headlights though, we're sick. Not so Cody's just making all the connections right now. And then that's pretty much it. It's almost like a plug and play thing. If you guys want, you could buy like all new headlights and send them to Circuit Demon. Like these are brand new lights. You could send brand new lights and have them make those custom for you and tell them what you want. Um, or, <laughs> or you could send them your headlights uh, and they could customize your headlights, clean them up, repaint the interiors, reseal them and all that stuff and send them back to you. Uh, they really can do honestly whatever you want. <laughs> it's a big donut headlight. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Dude, it actually looks pretty cool. Ooh, yeah. All right. Ooh, yeah. One down. All right, Chris, I gotta go.
All right, see you, man. I'm good with just one. He also told me that he made like the inside of the headlights like the same color uh, as the car. So you guys can see the color is very similar. You the can't inside see of the any housing. Of the original color on this car, Chris. Oh, let me Scratch just to let me just uh, see right there. So that's it. Lights or headlights are in. Cody, let's uh, let's turn them on. We're gonna take a look at the headlights for the first time. A little circuit demon, boys. Turn them on, turn them on. <gasps> my logo! That's so cool. That's so cool. You can literally see my logo through the... Oh, wow. That's so sick. I actually didn't think you were going to be able to see the logo. Whoa, that's cool. That is really sick. Oh, fuck. We got to get you amber bulbs. That's sick. You guys can't really see it, but... Oh, there it is. There's my logo inside of the donut on the headlights. Oh, those look so much cleaner! Circuit Demon, Jeffy, everyone over there at Circuit Demon, you guys killed it. This is like a super simple design, but these look so good. Uh, I'm so, I'm so. It looks so much better. Wow, honestly, it looks like a whole different like front end. This paint and everything on the Subaru, the bumper's a little bit chipped, it's got holes in it, it's not the best. We might fix that in the future, it's kind of just the daily driver, so I don't really care that much. But the taillights really do change the entire front end of that car. It looks so cool, that little pink accent too. Dude, it looks so much better. On those housings, they're kind of blacked out. Uh, on the inside, that are more so matching, whereas these have all the chrome and everything on the inside of these that just make it look, I don't know, it's, it makes the stand out from the front of the car. These kind of just blend in a lot more and look really cool. I like that whole like stealth look. And then you see the little like, little pink, little pink on there. It's so sick. Just when you guys thought we were done, we got another Forester to work on. <laughs> Cody's gonna bring in his Forester real quick, and then we're gonna put in his. Uh, well, I'm not gonna do anything. He's gonna put in his uh, pitch fork, fork pitch thing inside here. Nice. Hey, um, have you ever heard of Circuit Demon headlights? Because this. Hey. Oh, it's a. It's a. Oh, that's um yeah. um. It's a this. What is that? There's really no this light. This is a pitch fork. Okay, so we're gonna riot. Do you have it's, a torch? Basically on this motor, there's a motor mount there and there, and a motor mount right there, but it's not really mount, it's just it's a bar. And that stops the motor from going like this. Over years- it Stops the motor from waving at you? <laughs> uh, over the years, it's just a plastic composite pushing shit that wears out. Oh you get a lot of like motor back and forth and you feel it when you're shifting. So this is a solid mount and it just, it gets rid of a lot of the movement, so yeah. So is that the piece you're looking to replace? That yeah, thing looks the right same. Here. And that's like rubber, or what is that? So it's a composite plastic okay. with rubber bushings in it, but it, it's a lot of flex. Now I know what you guys are thinking. I, I know what you're thinking. Uh, Cody works on your car. You should be working on Cody's car. If I worked on Cody's car, it, it wouldn't work. So I'm just gonna watch again. <laughs> I thought Chris was gonna say, I know what you guys are thinking. We're missing a big honking grim speed, top mount, down pipe, Sorry. rotiform wheels. Oh my, okay. <laughs> This is uh, the stock one, and then this is the upgraded one, as you can tell. A little bit beefier. Hold a little, a little bit lower? A little bit lower? Yeah, right about there. That's it's a little bit beefier. That's good lighting right there. Yeah, right there. Wow, that was a grimming easy install <laughs> there, Cody. Fuck. It's not a, a Grim Speed part, is it? No, but it'd be great if I had Grim Speed top mount. Hey, it looks like there could be a nice little place for one right here. Right there. That would be nice. Hit me up, Grim Speed, please. Wink. And... Done. Cool, that was easy. So what's that gonna help you do? Drive smoother? The drivability is a lot nicer instead of like when you're shifting gears, the yeah. whole thing moving like that, it's now more rigid. Um, so it's just, it's more like a, a driver feeling. Um, a lot of people say solid mounts, you feel more connected to it. You feel your shifts, you feel, you feel your tranny. Ooh, you feel everything just like that. I feel so, more connected already. Hey man, just, just in case my grill falls off again, I'm just gonna take these two. <laughs> walking up to this thing now, reminds me of the Legacy, walking up to it, seeing with its custom headlights. Oh man, those look so cool. Ignore the rest of my body of the of the car. The headlights look so good. Also, ignore this because we just got to zip that in. We're gonna cut that. But look how good those look. Forrester friends. Yeah. Oh man, this is cool having the same car as one of your friends. Be able to work on the same cars. Look at them. This is cool, this is neat. We have the headlights in from Circuit Demon. Cody has his motor mount in uh, right now. Uh, and yeah, that's all we pretty much had for you guys today. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Cody, get in the, get in the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Cody, for, for getting the headlights in. Thanks for, for uh, trying to fix the transmission thing. We, we're trying, he's trying. We we'll figure it out though, we'll fix that soon. We went cheapest route first, but... Might as well, right? You guys can hear us, it's really windy out of here. Make sure you guys check out Circuit Demon. Uh, we'll put their Instagram in the description down below as well as their website. They're the only place you go to get your headlights retrofitted or your headlights customized. 
that's really all you should go to. And uh, what else should Cody do next to his Forester? Is there anybody, who do you guys think we should contact? Should we get in touch with Grinspeed or Cobb or somebody else to do some stuff yeah. for his Forester? Cause I, Please do. maybe just like simple stuff on this, but Cody wants to more so modify his uh, his Forester. Like I we kind of- the legacy. Kind of like the legacy. Maybe we'll race him next year? That could be a thing we could do, that could be cool. Uh, I mean, probably gonna win after this winter's build. Let us know what you guys think of the custom headlights in the comments down below. If you guys can hear any of this, probably all win. Thanks so much, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.